We're going to do some shoulders, but we're also going to give them some other uh, aspects about the one thing we do is we stay in shape all year. Try. Yeah. Try. You, you show us. Thank you. Okay. Look at this. Yeah. 24-7, like this. This guy. So, and we'll talk about why that is important. I think for today's, you know, day and age, with social media the way it is, it's one of those things that you always have to be ready. You always have to be ready for the photo shoot, for the audition, for guest appearances, for expos, everything. Kind of depends on, there's no more smoking up and slicing down. They were seeing all the good pictures we were putting out and controlling, and it's starting to look like that all the time. It's up our game. We couldn't just look good for a photo shoot or competition. We had people coming up to us in the gym, in the streets, wanting to take pictures. So let me do this real quick then. Let me ask you this, because it's one, one main question I get a lot, and I always say, yes, you can. Can you stay lean and still put on size? There's that fine line, but I think so, yeah. You're not going to put 10 pounds of muscle on staying lean, <laughs> but two pounds of muscle or a pound of muscle on a lean frame, there's a big difference. As opposed to walking up, eating a ton of calories, dieting back down, and at best, maybe looking much better out of a year with not looking good. I don't know about you, but when I'm not in the best of shape, I don't feel good about myself. I'm the same way. I tend to eat more. People come up and talk to you, you're not quite as enthusiastic and passionate about it because you're not at your best. And I think with fitness, it's about being at your best. You don't have to be photo shoot ready all the time, but I right. go yeah. too far, back for now. Stay in shape, get a little bit leaner, tidy some things up with a diet for a shoot or an expo, but for the most part, it should be a clean diet every day. That's one thing I would say to the young me. I would say one thing is uh, eat cleaner and don't go so far away from my photo shoot shape. Uh, one thing I would say, and, and don't be so scared about lifting heavy at a lighter weight. Because um, right now I'm as strong as I've ever been, and I'm only 245. So compared to my normal weight, it's like 285, 290. So it's uh, I can destroy the big boy of me. Let's do this. Let's go train some shoulders. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna go pop up like that. He's always Mr. Popular. Every time we film, we're speaking to him, wanting to get pictures. Um, we're in the middle of a video right now, and he's getting ready for the next set. So uh, let's crank on exercise number three. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to do some uh, rear delts. So we did shoulder press, did some uprights for some width. We're going to finish off that cap with the rear delts here. And then I got a little special exercise to finish this off. I, I want to talk about caps as well because with, uh, with the competition and you mentioned conditions as well. Yep. It starts with the shoulders. It's what builds the frame. 100%. And getting those finger like deltoids to kind of just wrap around. He had to put that in there because he has fingers. Yeah. It's the only thing I've got going at the moment. But <laughs> it's that time. Yep. You, you want those big shoulders, you want the caps. Boulders, you want them to be able to tie into the biceps, triceps. The you don't have to be. I mean, you could just put your arm down. And, I don't know if they see this, but you guys see the insertion? That's. You have, have to look so either. much bright. It's, understand that bodybuilding is an illusion. And I think you guys get carried away when you, when you see these guys on social media and you go, he is a monster. He's a monster. And then you see him next to somebody else and you go, holy shnikes. Yeah. They're not big. Take me for example. I mean, how? No, how, you. No, no, no. As, as relative, as, I can wear medium and large shirts. I mean, you're you're that much. How, how tall are you? Six three. Okay, so you're five inches taller than me, and you're you're currently what weight? Two fifty. Two fifty. I'm. You're seventy five pounds heavier than me. Seven, and, and given a height difference in the build, like that makes sense. But me next to Mike, I'm not a big guy. I'm just compact and lean, and, and on photos with the lighting, as we know. A huge difference. You see everyone on social media and you think, like, I'm never going to get to that. Right. The lights, the lights, the filters, the tan, the how they take, yeah, it, it can make you look 20 pounds bigger. But if you, you guys got to understand this, when when I say I'm 250 and you guys go, I want to get to 250, you don't need to be 250. All you got to have is this this insertion, the roundness, the beautifulness of his body. And he's carrying this, and this is a healthy way. And the great thing about him, he can put on a suit. He can walk a red carpet and look like a million dollars. Um, 
you know, for me, I'm going to have to tailor that bad boy, and I'm still going to look like a potato sack. So this is kind of what you want to go for right here. So, and, and the most important thing for the shoulders is the forgotten rear delt. I have no idea why that is, but at one point to different shows. Shoulder movements and presses, the, they kind of get this left behind. Left behind. behind. And everybody benches with their front delt. Yeah. Look at this. Turn around. Show them this. Look at that. Look at that beautifulness. That's what you want to have. It's coming. It's growing. I mean, the last video we did was a year and a half, two years ago. I'm similar condition-wise, but just a little bit fuller and thicker. So to go back to the original question, can you get bigger while staying lean? Yes, you can. A little bit. All right, let's go on with this Let's one. go. Start us out. Lean up over the bench, and I want bad form. You want bad form? I want bad form. What's that going to do is, I'll show you, I'll show you. Everybody's going to be like this when they do rear delts. Keep the posture good, go like this, and go like this. I don't want that. Come up and over this bad boy. All right. Lean over. Let the arms hang. Yep. Take this outside. Right up here, out in front. All right. Yes. Show them what's up. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice, nice. Give me 12, give me 12. Come on. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Woo! You gotta make the muscles work on that one. I mean, you, you can't keep it straight. You can't. Make your muscle move the way it's designed to be moved. Sometimes we don't always move like this. It's not a clean, smooth, it's jerky movements. It's, it's like how our bodies are designed. So to mimic that in an exercise makes a lot of sense. So there it goes. Did you guys pay attention to that? Show them again, show them again, same thing. Try to find there. Up, boom. You're on stage. Show them. Show them. Again. That's my boy. That's my boy. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, kid. Nobody's walking around 365 like that. Look at that. Come on. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's the way it's to do. Uh, no. No. And it's a split second. All you're doing is you're going to lift it up and just pause it for a second as best you can. It's a small movement. You might not even see it, but it's a flex at the top. There's little details that really do make that difference in physique. One more, show them how it's done, right here. Set the number now. Set the number. Get this. Get this. Get up. Nice. Two. Come on. Three. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Show him what's up. Get him up. That's my boy. That's my boy. Freak. Nice. Come on. You guys will like this. You may not have seen this exercise before, but this is for you guys that just want to get a, a sick pump. What we've done is we've destroyed the shoulders. Technically, right now we've done enough. Believe it or not, three exercises. We've done enough. Now that's one thing that everybody does now. Haste is overtrained. Um, I admit, do as I say, not as I do. Um, because. If
if you follow me on social media, I might end up doing legs three days in a row. But that's me. I can do that because of the fact that I love overtraining. I love training. I'm also not got enough muscle mass that I don't need to worry about losing any. But if you're trying to gain, if you're trying to be better, if you're trying to win shows, don't do what I do, do what I say. Right. Yeah. So I'm not trying to compete right. as much or as often now. No, except with myself. I like that. So, but well, I'm going to show you an exercise to finish this off. Um, so, all right, ready? Sure ready. it is. I'm going to grab something light. Believe it or not, I just said that. I said that. Here's the final exercise. Let's finish off those shoulders. Nice little roundness to them. Take it seated. Very simple exercise. It looks pretty simple to you, but it requires so many muscles and movements and dynamics that it End of the workout, it's, it's a nasty one. Save this for the end. Do not do this at the beginning. Here we go. Nice. See everything working? See all the insertions? Also on top of this is for athletics. Everything we're doing. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look how it looks. You see everything firing. Come here, Chevy. Come here, look at this. Look at that. Come on, a couple more. Look at all of it going. The insertion. Beautiful. Well, well. We need one more of those. Uh, one more set. But I'll do another one. <laughs> Did it. It. We didn't do a lot. You see, we only did four exercises. Um, you guys know what I think of this. What do you think of today? It's a completely different mindset to what I would normally do in the gym. I like it because it pushes me out of my comfort zone. I don't know we always talk about that, pushing the envelope, pushing the box, get out of your comfort zone. How many of us actually do it? We don't. So to come in here and do exercises that I'm familiar with, but a little bit heavier, a little bit more intensity, even like letting go of the formula before. I mean, 20 minutes on shoulders? Yeah, it's about that. 
My central nervous system was shot, I was breathing heavier. And that's how I am after an hour of doing my way to the gym. So we just cut to the chase. Got heavy, got the muscles working, and uh, I, I got to incorporate a lot more of that into my routine. Yeah, so I mean, it's like I was saying, like not a lot of warm ups, enough to get warm, but don't go crazy, don't kill yourself. And then, you know. You're a more higher rep guy, yeah. and, and you didn't really do a lot of high reps, but you could see today on the floor, did you see how full those shoulders were? And this is a different kind of performance because of its, it's the tear of the muscle. Uh, again, if you're only going to the gym and you're only pumping, all you're doing is pushing glycogen, all you're doing is getting the blood in there, you're like just filling it up, as soon as you walk out, that's done. It's about tearing the muscle, tearing the fiber. The first exercise we did, did exactly that. I felt that. And the rest of it was playground stuff. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say on the, right now, the last time we uh, we filmed, we were talking about how everything moves. Back, back at Dave Fisher's gym in his old location. Yeah. It was a year and a half ago, and I'm still, I was lean back then. I'm lean now, I'm just a little bit fuller, a little bit thicker, a little bit more muscle mass, and uh, the elbows forwards when we're doing that upper chest. Feel that chest just swell with blood. Yeah. Like, listen to this man. He doesn't just look good. Like, he knows what he's talking about. I've, I've done the uh, techniques. I've been putting them out in my videos. It came from Mike. So, what he says works. Follow. Yeah, that was fun. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching. Follow this man. You guys probably already are. This guy's got like ten times more followers than me. So just keep doing it. Keep watching what he's doing. Um, it's moving. He's showing you, showing how to do it. Um, you know, more than anything else, more than the workouts, more than how he looks, he's showing you how to be a good person um, and, and how to treat other people and how to just be in society. So, watch that first and foremost. I just want to say thank you. Awesome. Do this again. Subscribe to my channel, my channel. You know, uh, share the video, like it. Uh, if we get, give me a number. We got a big number. Two million? All right. If we get 2 million views, we will do, uh, we'll do another video and uh, heck, we can do whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll fly we'll, somebody we'll, out. We'll How get some that? food. There we go. We'll get, we'll get one of the people that share it and post it and talk about it, tweet about it. Um, we hit 2 million, we'll, we'll choose somebody and uh, I personally will fly you out to uh, LA to shoot with us. That's better than that. Right. Do better than that. Yeah. On that note, let's get some food. Pleasure. I'll wait to see what we have. Uh, next time. I'm gone.